Hello my fellow creative spirits. So today's topic is so exciting. I am going to be looking at my work from high school and I haven't looked at this work for a while so it's going to be an interesting opportunity for me to show you how much I've grown in the past six years. I actually met one of my subscribers who is in high school and I thought that was so awesome and it made me kind of reminisce on when I was in high school and the work that I created and so I wanted to share with you guys my sketchbook. So here is the cover. Here's his reality. Leaves a lot to the imagination. So it was kind of a collage that I created. So you can kind of see that my color palette hasn't really changed and you'll look inside that my subjects are also very similar to the subjects that I have now. Without further ado, let's begin looking through my sketchbook. Okay, so I'm going to be discussing beginner mistakes. Okay, so here was a, a still life of some shoes and onto this. So the first mistake is not adding enough value. This is so important. This will make the sketch pop so much more. So here I did not really put that much darkness where it's dark and too much lightness where it's light. So it kind of gets lost in the paper. So the next mistake is to not understand proportion or perspective. So that was one mistake, and last one, the eyes were a little bit crooked. So for this one, I did not sharpen my pencil, so I gave it kind of a dull look on some parts of it, especially for the beard, so make sure that you sharpen your pencil so you don't have that dull look to your sketches. So the next mistake is to not use quality materials. When you don't use quality materials, you're going to have some problems because they weren't developed for professional use. So for this one, I used some Crayola colored pencils, which were fine, but they had a lot of wax bloom. They weren't as intense as I liked, and they were also very bad at blending. You couldn't layer the colors like you can with some oil-based colored pencils, such as Polychromos. The next mistake is not finishing your artwork. When you don't finish your artwork, you don't train your brain how to finish things. So you definitely want to make sure that you try to finish your artwork or come up with a solution so that you enjoy the final product. So the next common mistake is to not use reference pictures that are of the highest quality possible. So for the drawing, it was a picture that was taken that was very blurry and in really bad lighting and the newer picture in comparison which was an oil painting that I recently did I had a super HD reference picture so whenever possible try to use the best reference pictures because they will make the biggest difference in trying in rendering out details And the next mistake, which I find to be a huge mistake, is to copy other artists' work. Exactly. So this was a mermaid that I actually really liked this one artist's work, and I thought I would recreate it. But when you practice too much of another artist's work, your artwork begins to look so much like theirs that you don't really get to develop your own style. So a solution to this would be to do multiple artists' work and combine it into one. So I like to take references from all different artists' work um, and just use it loosely and then combine my own references to make my own piece of work. So I kind of wish that I would have done that a little more, but you know, of course, I was still learning at the time. Another mistake is drawing what other people expect me to draw. So I had this problem quite a few times where someone told me, oh, you should draw this, you should draw this, and I would draw it because they would ask me to, to make them something, and I remember at the end of my junior year, I had like 10 people who requested me to draw something for them, and I didn't want to draw it, and then I was always telling them, oh yeah, I'll draw it for you, but then at the end of the year, I just felt guilty every time because I had promised people that I would draw them. So the next mistake that I made on this piece was actually had to do with criticism. Uh, there was this one person who told me, oh, well, you should try to color in the hair a little more because I could see little white spots and I remember I replied well that's how it's supposed to be uh, that's my style 
but um, this kind of offhand kind of remark actually was holding me back because he was giving me some positive criticism um, that if I would have taken it, I would have maybe researched more into finding a better colored pencil and improved my artwork. The next mistake is not planning out composition. Um, so here, this was going to be a finalized sketch that I did, so I didn't plan it out that well because it ended up being not center but more towards the left, and I still sometimes have this problem now. I try to figure out exactly where all the characters are supposed to be before I start the drawing or painting. And the final tip that I'm going to give you is to not rush. I had this really weird way of thinking when I was in high school that I thought if I don't finish this drawing in one sitting, I'm not going to finish it at all. So I would just rush through, especially at the end, because I just wanted to finish this drawing. And this could be really bad to build this kind of habit. So here are just a few freehand portraits. So. Just to keep in mind, these were tips for me. Of course, I look back at my paintings, I try not to be too harsh on myself because I was learning and ultimately if I hadn't gone through these learning stages, and I still am learning by the way, I'm pretty sure several years down the road I'm going to look back at my work and find tons of mistakes that I might not be aware of now. Um, but it's definitely really refreshing to take a look at how much I've grown and everything that I've learned in all of these years that I've been practicing art and I look forward to continue learning more. So I'm curious to hear about your common mistakes maybe that you made while you were beginning art and maybe some tips for overcoming them. So I'd love to read those in the comments and don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!